What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play. Whoops! <laughs> As the United States of America. And in this episode, we're going to attack this uh, ir this uh, <laughs> this Quebec force with a number of irregular troops in it that's decided to try and head in towards our lands. So let's kill them all. And as you can see in the distance, we are also um, on the verge of attacking, well, securing the Quebec capital. So that's pretty good. Then once we take that, we can push on, take Maine, then take Newfoundland, and then we can start to focus on the Huron. Secure more territory in the north. This is a superb little force we've built up here. And obviously, and we've got a field marshal of America who's got it's got a pistol. They've got pistols so they can shoot. But it's usually not advisable to send them into pistol range. Storm in. We know they have native troops hidden somewhere, but we are not interested. We will find them and then we will kill them. So this poor militia unit. They're just sat there waiting for something to happen. Of course, they can't see anything. Everything's okay. Everything's clear. Everything's clear. Oh, God. Oh, God. my cavalry towards the rear, towards their cavalry. I mean, this militia unit is fair play for not breaking immediately. See if we can shatter them with some following follow-up volleys. Yeah, there we go. That's them sorted out. Where are your other troops, Captain? towards the hill. There they are. Who wants to come chase after cavalry? I'll lure you away from the group. Something like that, I think. And you guys smash that native Bowman Auxiliary. They couldn't even string an arrow in time. Where's my cuirassier? Break them off. Go after the colonial light. They are surrounded. Attack the light horse. My curiosity, I can deal with these swine. 
Reload! Oh no, it's only these skirmishes that are that are around and alive and kicking. Nope. Now when they flee, my other skirmishes get a chance to pick them off. And all my cavalry. My QSEA got drawn back into the uh, back into the archer fight. Yes, Quebec, you're going down. As these guys run the gauntlet for the riflemen and, and the and the, and the line infantry. Follow me, guys. I got this. He is, he is gone. He does have this. There you go. The enemy cavalry is going down hard. How numbered, how matched. Your days were numbered. Light cavalry. chase them down but it seems a bit seems a bit futile they will retreat in the direction that we want them to retreat anyway bye bye actually they might get drawn into the uh, tank on Quebec which yes. would be pretty fun bring you guys down towards as I was about to say down towards Osbeck I was looking at like no down towards Falmouth the new oh, Granville Stapleton stop. Uh, yep, yeah, they are coming in to reinforce. Doesn't matter though, we have got overwhelming numbers and incredible amounts of firepower. So we will secure the city. Then we will advance north, secure the port, recruit ship, and then get ready to send this army either to Newfoundland or around to the north, potentially to attack the Inuit, depending on what their. Uh, uh, political relationships look like which is a bizarre statement but all right okay solid core of infantry i mean i expect they're going to be around the back i mean i, I admit my armies are incredibly unbalanced Go. Good artillery bombard. Now oh, it's it's bombard. Sending my native warriors are gonna go up the front. The light horse just stay back and bombard, I think. Group my light cavalry together on the left. My marines on the right don't need the help. Yeah, there we go, they're right at the back. the town and let's put some my light cavalry and my native troops over here to defend against the reinforcements when they're coming in I don't know so they are advancing off the hill but The only unit in range of my howitzers is the 21st Regiment of Foot. Oh, I thought they were having a go. They've actually knocked out one of the guns. Okay, now we're in range. Start running. Yeah, the only thing they could do to try and screw us up is go after our artillery. My native troops gonna bog them down. Yeah, 
Okay, let's start to... Advance the men into town. citizenry on the flank. Militia and skirmishes stay wide. Are oh, they struggling to come in? Native troops over here. Although this is going to be a city fight. You men engage the first regiment with the bayonet. Sixth regiment will whip around the flanks. Seventh regiment charge into the second. Nope, they failed. You may hold the line. Advance up to the next position. There we go. Good old pincer move. There we go. So we pinch the move, the 1st Regiment, surrounded by angry Americans. 10th Regiment are engaging the 3rd. Advance up to the next position. Bring up the 2nd Regiment. He's going to char charge up the hill towards the fire lock on citizenry. Okay, there goes the enemy reinforcements. Oh, that Who are we charging, fellas? Oh shit, Marines! Get up out of the funk. Three units against one Quebec regiment. Cavalry are coming now, fellas. How about you? So close. Completely like executed with a sniper's rifle at point blank range. Make ready. Got to reload first. I think I blew his head up. Pissed the officer to go with the pistol. Missed. Charge into the back of those firelock arm citizenry types because they've actually done some good damage against my marines. Charge! Hey, 
Excellent. Push up the hill. Still attempting to stand and fight. And the mortar crew. Okay, you guys fall back. Just in case they go for a spirited charge. speed of time on this one because it's let them be shot like the dogs they are what's that over there that's right you better run god you came back All my skirmishes back just to get them to drift into range. Nope, they saw that one coming and they weren't having any part of that. We've got homes to go to. Nice, nice, nice. That's Quebec secured. Significant base of enemy power. Let's send riders north to secure a Dusak. Excellent. Let's get the amenities repaired. Don't worry about repairing or rebuilding fleets and so on yet. The army replenish. Same with the cavalry. 1200 left. Doesn't look like we can spend it on much of anything. But that's quite a, quite a good game. So you're holding against the Huron. You can see them sat there watching and waiting. But yeah, the main the, the objective is to knock out Quebec first. And then attack the Huron, take York Factory. So the, yeah, the Inuit are controlled by Britain. And then probably go after, take York Factory, take the Black Hills, take the continental US. Oh, I've got you, obviously. Fourth rate ship of the line. Hornet, Lightning, and Colorado. Let's bring him in. Bring him in, boys. Constantly grow, <laughs> just growing the US Navy on. Pretty much of it's just on uh, capturing enemy ships. Get Hornet in the lead. Let's go get him. So is Vassanea. <laughs> See, so I know that means in something in Dutch, but to me, as a person from the West Country in England, that sounds like that's something I would expect to hear someone ask. Well, if you've just gone to the pub and you've got a box with something inside it, and you expect to hear someone go, What's in here? <laughs> that's what you would expect to hear. <laughs> anyway. Slaughter the ship. Plenty of Dutch troops on board. I expect they're saying, oh no, these are Americans. These Americans have nothing to fear. I mean, they can barely, barely hear what's being said over the sound of clogs running backwards and forwards and so on. But let's get ready.
To reload your broadside, you're gonna probably blast some chain into their mats. Colorado's gonna storm up. Excellent shot. Colorado's gonna start engaging with round shot from the front. Hornets repairing a second broadside. Make ready. Bam! Engage them from ahead. Circle them like a like a beast. Oh, you're running off. You're running off. Okay, right. That's more like it. This is fine, as they stand in the middle. Colorado, make the turn. Keep firing. I am getting down from here. This is far too lonely. See you knock out some more sails. A couple of lines are just hanging quite loosely. A good hit from the main. Colorado's gained the experience, Chevron. Lost 18 guns. Say, want to catch him before they escape. Eve two, prepare to be boarded. Nice. That's an excellent prize for the fleet. And it opens up our trade again. On our way, Captain. Okay, you may get in. Replenish. Good. I mean, yeah, you're currently... Oh, no, you are a enemy ship. Prudent. You know... Do the same again, Mr. De Mr. Beaumarchais. <laughs> I recognise that name from The Simpsons. Anyway, let's get cracking. Take another fourth rate, then... Ultimately, that'd be a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the Quebec Navy... Defeated? No, they've got another proper navy somewhere, don't they? Either way, same again. 
sweep in, take the ship, bring her in, and then start to look at sending them overseas. Storm in. Chase guns ready. Soon to be fired. Once we get within range, but the Niles will be in range as well. Sweep in and point blank range. Fired your, fired your chase guns. Come in at full speed. Exactly the same again as last time. See if you learn from from the Dutchman's folly. Excellent shot. Reload. Come on, Argus. See if you can be as successful as our, one of our previous ships in terms of knocking out masts. Nope, they had the neck. You get ready to load broadside. Can we buy it? You've got guns to bring to bear. Brightly Devil. Your brought is nearly ready anyway. Trees even knock out one of them ass. You're not gonna get past Argus.
I'm all over the round shot, lest you lose all your guns. These two ships just start to try and knock out one of the masts, just in case if she runs, she doesn't. There we go. Just something to slow her down a tad. badly on fire. You know, if you didn't surrender, you might burn up. There we go. Another ship brought into the fleet. Orders. Excellent. Oh no, I never actually, I didn't actually bring them into the fleet. Ah, oh, GG. Uh, right. Yeah, they've got a, a sixth rate up here, which is going to run. You're going to position to engage Jacques de la Croix. And uh, well, both of these armies effectively are going to... One's going to push the city properly, one's going to push up to the north. And then this army here at Quebec is going to um, climb aboard a ship and sail over to Newfoundland and take that. And then that will end the Quebec scam. New Haven, get on with platoon firing, not short on carbines. Get the last military building that we can get. Oh, I think they're going to try and land... No, they're going to try raid our port again. Let's auto it. We rule the way. I was going to say, we shouldn't lose any ships from that. Ah, oh, you. What about you? You devil. Oh, now the Dutch are interfering with our economy by attacking our allies overseas. That won't do at all. That will not do at all. Martinique's ripe for the taking, it's owned just by pirates. We need to get involved in some of the trade shenanigans going on. We've not went. Oh, we're not really involved because we've barely got a a navy to cover our own theatre, let alone a navy that's able to go out and explore. Just a militia, aren't you? Yep. How about Jewel? By the left. March. That's what you were also meant to deal with, but we don't need you anymore. <laughs> Your humble. You guys get back to Boston. Let's repair the farm. Seventeen thousand. Put to sea. Ready and waiting. So you guys make some repairs. Sail up towards this area. So you're a bit of, you're unhappy with us because you just resist foreign occupation, which is fine. A couple of state capitals, which is great. Build a magistrate. We're building the roads. Build a state capital. Upgrade the Ordnance Board to an Engineer School. And we're going to be able to upgrade one industrial building. <laughs> Maybe two, if I can find a cheap Iron Master's Works. Ah, okay, there we go. Lower level industry building. Excellent. And farms still. The U ships combine. That's one 
Elite, let's go bottle up Louisburg. Prevent them from coming out and are doing anything against us. And actually, you guys cancel your replenishment. Put to sea to block off St. John's to prevent them from sending troops elsewhere. Good. They are they are trekked. So you go to the north, clear that out of of uh Quepequa troops. You guys spend some time replenishing yeah, no, just bump into that guy. Just go for it. No. Oh, I'll just auto him. That's Undaunted. That's nothing. Undefeated. Push on towards the city. Replenish. One coin left. Yeah, you were kind you were more about trying to pursue those raiders. Don't really need you though. Okay, let's hit enter. They're going to free the port of Newcastle, allow the trade to flow, which is good for us. No, they're still up to no good. Although, the, who, what territory do the Dutch actually own? Oh, they own Tunisia. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Not Tunisia. Morocco. I'm a goon. Uh, yeah, they own Morocco. Yeah, that's not bad. Reasonable territory. You got access to ports in the in the open, exposed to the Atlantic. It's a lot harder to block off Morocco than it is to block off um, Amsterdam. But they are still forever vulnerable. We'll say Russia's actually pushed into the Balkans, which is pretty neat. Nineteen thousand. Hey, you're not Gabriel Gage. You're a gentleman in Pennsylvania. Eh, let's put you into Harrisburg instead. A place of learning and culture. Okay. Cobbled Roads, Upper Canada. Excellent. Okay, you guys push on. They're a bit grumpy, so you can try and make people happy again. Pick up the pick up the cavalry. Ships orders, Captain. Army embark. Forward. Ships orders. Land off of Newfoundland, off of Plaisance in the sheltered bay. Excellent. Bring the ships back to Tudesac. Let's build a sloop to protect the harbour. Okay, I think we need st Okay, right. Economy, economy, economy. Let's try and upgrade one industry building and one port every turn. Let's try and do that as a default option. At least do that. You're coming back. Okay, let's upgrade the capital. I think we try to get some roads as well. Especially Upper Louisiana, it's quite a big territory. And then Michigan Territory can have some as well. Awesome. So next turn we're in on Fort Nashwag and, and also in against Place Salt. Excellent. Opportunity to intercept. Mm, no. I want them to go into the port. Oh, well, I want them to go into the city, rather. If they go into the city and I win, all of the units are destroyed. If I intercept them outside the city, they'll scatter everywhere, then I have to chase them down afterwards. It's a lot cleaner to let them bolster the garrison 
um, especially when it won't make a difference. Like a, a mounted mounted tribal auxiliary is not going to break our our attack. The Austrians are on the move. The French are still doing some raiding. The Ottomans are doing Ottoman things. But they lost Serbia to Russia. Ironic. Then we've got... Have they also got Sofia? It looks like the Russians might also have Bulgaria as well. Yeah, they do. You've got, you got to feel a bit vulnerable. Okay. What? 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 Well, I'm not going to let that stand. Oh, the only ally is, is Quebec. Right. Claire War, don't call my allies. <laughs> okay, so now it's literally unprotected. Well, your, this fleet, then, is going to come here, pick that up, pick them up, rather, land off of Plaisance. They've moved shit, they've moved an army over here now. This entire garrison, instead of defending here, has now been shifted here to try and defend Port Nashwak. And it's just not going to help, because we're already there. I mean, do I let them try one turn? Do I spend one turn letting them try and run towards me? Because they can't get here. My eye. Might send a rake over to New Orleans to see what's going on. Oh god, we're already up to global trading company levels. Money pit. Money pit. Well, not money pit. Well, money pit in a, in a really good way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going. Oh no, that's really expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive and really good. Just sink as much money into our economy as we can at every turn. That's the best thing to do. So I'm going to spend one turn to let these guys run down here. And then still fail. Save the city. We've got 1,400. It's got to be a couple of good farm upgrades. Cool. Yeah, sloop to defend the ports. So now the sixth rates. Connecticut and Merrimack can... Just go join a fleet for now. Three turns till secular humanism. I mean, we just we don't need to we don't need to upgrade any of this stuff yet. <laughs> We've got enough problems as it stands upgrading our current buildings. Uh, Denmark's been destroyed. People are going to keep on moving. The, the garrison have pushed out of Fort Nashwak. Brave of them and appropriate, given we how we've got some depleted troops. It's appropriate for them to do that. Because if they wait, all that happens is that they get weaker and we replenish and get stronger. So it's a fair decision from the AI there, for sure. God damn, Samuel Adams. He's a talker. Right. Get my troops set up. Get my main line set up. Which I could. If I can get these guys set up close. No, I don't think there's only there's a I can't get them close enough, because what I could do is put my long riflemen up here and they fire over the top of my troops pretty cleanly. Yeah, let's do that. 
So you guys are formed up. Marines cover one flank. Extra unit of infantry in good strength. So let's put them in. These units are all a bit weaker, but they can be grouped together. Rangers can do the same thing, although only really if they start getting rushed. So I might put the Rangers over here. Because these guys have long riflemen have a range of 170 compared to 120. So that's, that's why Lee's long, long riflemen are so damn good. Put some bows here. They can just hide and provide some help. Cool. This is a decent little defensive position. Camaris, Quebec. Hit those colonial dragoons. Sweet. Okay, I don't think I have to worry so much about the right. So let's just pivot these guys a little bit. I'm tempted to get my rangers up over here like I was thinking about doing. Cavalry out wide. Now let's just use carcass shot against militia. You guys can cease fire doing what you're doing. Actually, to be fair, Colonial Light can probably deal with them. That cavalry's gone. Pull the cavalry up. Retarget the howitzers against the. Probably against the one unit of infantry they've actually got on the field. The cavalry smacked the militia. The my long riflemen are engaging from on top of the hill. Done a, we've done a, some good damage with our hit. Draw them into the... Draw them into the line. See, the rangers aren't quite as useful up here. If they get bayonet charged, I'll be able to get some shots off on, in on them as they advance. Make ready and fire. Guys have had enough. You even smack into the fifth.
Excellent. Break the ingrate. Clone your cavalry, go after the general. Nope, he's out of here. Charge into the back of the 4th regiment. Make them break and run. Then we can fold up the left flank. Shattered, 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 shattered. Excellent. The infantry unit didn't even make it to battle from the, from the relentless pummeling they got. Killing people. Just wait to see if we can get my general down here. Let's get some cheeky kills. Artillery! Engage the native bowmen, engage the militia right to your front. Push forward my mounted tribal auxiliary. Ready to pop off a volley. Follow it up with the bayonet. Howitzers just engage the general to the. Actually, no, don't engage the general. So my colonial light's gonna try and pursue them. Got a good hit. We don't want to get bogged down in a fight like that. They they've pursued. They've been engaged by arrow fire. Commit again because they're wavering. General's in. All my cavalry's in against the general. Take the ground. He's fired the artillery. Kill him. Kill the general. Got him. Excellent. That'll show them. That'll teach them trying to fight for their freedoms. The fools. Their freedoms are better in our hands than theirs. That'll show them good. And then Spain. Don't worry. You're going to get the treatment too. Primary folk, we're going to need to attack everybody who stands in the way of us controlling the United, the, the continental United States, and just the the states in general. Oh, the Barbary states have pushed out the. Oh, they've had a re revolution. They've pushed the Spanish out from their port, which means they've left their city completely unguarded. Well, we do have to be clever about this, about, you know, when do we... When do we attack Britain versus when do we attack France? I think we attack France first because they've got Louisiana. We'll take out the Huron, attack France, take out the Plains Nations peoples. Once we've attacked France, gobble up their islands. Oh, actually, we're, against the, we're at war with the Dutch already, so these guys... Remember, they're a great target. Montreal. 
Upgrade you to a state house. Yeah, we can soon lose, a, not lose, we can soon consume a lot of cash trying to upgrade um, all the stuff that we want to upgrade. I mean, it's very tempting to upgrade you to that. Let's try and get some more resource production. Because then you guys, well, ultimately you guys can just take Virtue play science. Valor unconquered. That's just ours. We'll take that if you don't mind. Prize money. And sink your fifth. Holy moly, you, that fifth rate took out five of ours. Well, we're going to bring you in. Way anchors. Let's repair St. John's. Build a craft workshop at Bonavista, get some roads going. That's 1200. Settlement under siege. Effectively, we're going to fight this battle because it, it's the end of the uh, it's the end of the Quebec faction. May as well do it, and it's the end of the episode anyway. So, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction, the final destruction of Quebec. Cheers, everyone.